about the fourth row. Fourth row? Fourth or fifth row. One, two, three, the fourth row. Uh, about the second or third female from the far end. gentlemen and distinguished guests. On behalf of the faculty and staff and the 1992 graduating class of Shadow Mountain High School, I welcome you to our commencement ceremony. Successful completion of our high school career. We are grateful for the education we have received and the many individuals who have contributed to this achievement. For our teachers, club sponsors, and coaches, who have dedicated countless hours to help us learn and develop skills and talents. We thank thee for our friends that we have made. We love them and we will always cherish the memories that we have made. It is with our deepest appreciation that we thank thee for our families. We love them and acknowledge their constant love, support, and guidance given during the last 18 years. At this time, we stand at a crossroads in our lives. Bless us with the wisdom to make choices that will bring us happiness. Help us remember our successes, that we may be inspired by our strengths and not our weaknesses. We pray for the courage to rise above the average level of performance, to reach our goals and fulfill our dreams. And we say these things in thy name, amen. Gentlemen, if you would remove the mortarboards and hats for the colors and our national anthem. Please be seated. Once again, I am pleased to welcome all family, friends, and alumni to this most prestigious event. And to the class of 1992, uh, since this is charitable organizations and those less fortunate or disenfranchised is unsurpassed. 
you have demonstrated leadership characteristic of a select few. Indeed, you will leave a legacy which will challenge and motivate the underclassmen who will step into your shoes. However, the best is yet to come, and that best begins tonight with commencement. Webster defines commencement as to have or to make a beginning. And when one of us shakes your hand this evening and presents you with your diploma and wishes each of you Godspeed in your journey from Shadow Mountain, you will have an opportunity which few in the past have had. The character, integrity, perseverance, and creativity you have shown in your tenure at Shadow clearly demonstrates that you are part of the solution to a seemingly immense, these seemingly immense problems which threaten our very economic and social fabric. You will achieve, you will contribute, and you will be part of the generation which solves these seemingly immense problems. And finally, as I have said to you in private, you now have the opportunity to say to you in public, you will always have a special place in my heart, not only because you are the first graduating class for me as principal at Shadow Mountain, but because you have set the stage for those of us who will return in the fall to keep polishing the jewel that we all know is Shadow Mountain High School. I look forward with great anticipation to watching the future unfold for you and my very, very best wishes to each of you. It is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Paul Cap, who will deli deliver the salutary address. Paul. I would like to begin my speech by thanking three very special groups of people. First of all, I'd like to thank the teachers for putting up with all of our smart remarks, many excuses, and non-stop talking. Next, I'd like to thank our parents for having to put up with the same stuff, but only for a longer period of time. <laughs> Finally, I'd like to thank the Shadow Mountain graduating class of 1992 for making our high school years the best they could possibly be. The support from our teachers, parents, and friends have made the past four years most enjoyable and obviously successful. I think that graduation is the major divider between childhood and adulthood. High school told us what to do and when to do it. We had to be in class at a certain time and we had homework due on a specific date. We even had to have a hall pass to go to the bathroom. Basically, our lives were planned out for us. After those first few nerve-wracking weeks of freshman year, high school became a little repetitious, but it also gave us a feeling of belonging and a feeling of security. We made great friends. We knew where the bathrooms were. We even perfected the I don't feel too well excuse when we felt we needed an extra day off. But now, life is different, and we have to make our own decisions. I think this is why we all feel a little empty as well as a little apprehensive about what the future holds. To me, graduation is like the time when I had to give up my security blanket when I was a child. I love that blanket so much that I carried it wherever I went, especially when I watched Saturday morning cartoons. My blanket was the ugliest piece of lime green material, but it seemed to do a great job keeping away all the monsters under my bed. I used my blanket so often that I eventually wore holes in it, and it had to be thrown away. Four credits received straight A's in every single class that she took. Teresa.
board members, administration, staff, faculty, parents, and the Shadow Mountain class of 1992. First of all, I would like to thank God because I would be nothing without him and any abilities that I might have are only because of him. Second, I would like to thank my parents and family for all of their support. Next, I would like to thank all of the teachers, coaches, and club sponsors at Shadow Mountain for all that they have contributed to our class of 1992. I also appreciate the hard work and dedication of the administration and staff here at Shadow Mountain. And finally, I would like to thank all of my fellow graduates for making my high school year so special. As I stand here tonight, I am reminded that some things are bittersweet. They are a mixture of good and bad, happiness and sadness. Graduation is one of those things. It is easy to think of all the sad aspects of tonight. For example, there are people here we will never see again. We will never again go off lunch, go off campus for lunch with our friends, attend a spirit assembly, or participate in a homecoming parade. Our high school years are over and we can never get them back. Now that I have depressed all of the graduates, let me say that there are many reasons why tonight is an exciting night and why it should be seen as the beginning and not as the end. I have compiled a list of the top 10 reasons why tonight is an exciting night. Reason number 10, we can never again get detention for being tardy. Now